Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day. And if not, hope it gets turned around for you. I've got something here that is, I don't know if anybody's gonna watch. Um, I'm just gonna have fun opening it up. And I thought I'd open them up and share it with uh, maybe a few of you out there that remember 1990 Don Russ baseball cards. These nice red cards right there. Um, this is just something, I got a really cheap uh, price on this box. It was probably cheaper than a lot of the other ones. So it makes me a little bit nervous that uh, these are actually what they are. Maybe I just got a great deal, but um, I remember these cards so well and uh, they just take me back to when I was collecting. Um, I was probably 14 or 15 without doing the math when these came out and when I was collecting. So I was right in my prime of collecting cards. And so um, I just thought, man, I'm gonna grab a box of these, um, open them up on here, see what we get. Um, I love the Diamond Kings, the MVP cards. Um, there's no really zero value um, in these except uh, maybe collecting a couple of team cards or um, some Hall of Famers or something like that. So um, if you're watching, hope you enjoy it. If not, well, you wouldn't know I had said that. So hanging out with my boys today, they're gonna open, I'm gonna open these up. They, they've never seen anything like this. Um, so there's 36 packs, so we'll get going through them pretty quick. Um, son's gonna help me pull those out. These nice bright orange packs that they have. Um, the wax packs, you know, you can just, it's just so different than what they've got right now. Um, it contains a Carl Yastrzemski puzzle piece. And then it's got 16 cards in here. So it's kind of almost like a fat pack. Um, I don't know what the, they don't have an actual price on here or anything like that. How much cards are there? Um, it looks like you could have gotten a Diamond King's print, a five by seven. So it's kind of like one of those oversized top loaders. And then um, over two million, is that two million or two thousand? Yeah, two million dollars in prizes. So don't really know what that means, but let's just keep going. Like I said, this is just, this is basically for me. This is just a whole bunch of fun. Saw a really cheap box. I had seen somebody open something up. They had um, this in there and um, it just brought back such memories that I thought, man, let's open some up and, and do it. So let's move these over here, guys. This is a lot. Yes, there's a this really- This is a lot. lot of baseball cards. Yes, it is. There's Carney Lance for like him. You know, it's so funny. There's a uh, Hall of Famer and Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murray. Um, I was going to say is like, you know, the design's just, I think it's really only if you've collected back then that you would really like these. But uh, um, I kind of dig the red border. I dig, um, but I'm a, I'm kind of a fan of the yellow border, which whatever year that was. But um, uh, this is just some really cool stuff um, I like. And um, I was going to say something here, but uh, I'll just keep going. Um, there's those MVP cards. I really like those. There are some errors in here. I probably won't see them um, because I'm not really looking for them, but I know if Harold Baines has an error in here. Um, let's see, Ooh, these are hard to get open. Wow, I am struggling. Okay, you guys came here to see a guy struggle open packs. <laughs> this is how you get no subscribers. Is, yes. Um, well, let's just get through these, man. I, so Walt Weiss, who has kind of some wax damage on the back. So we got Rick Aguilera. Yeah, man, these just bring back. There's another MVP. There's a Diamond Kings. That's what I was going to say, probably, is I really like the Diamond King. I've always liked the Don Russ Diamond Kings each and every year. Um, sometimes the players didn't make sense that uh, they became the Diamond Kings, but um, like this guy, I've never heard of him before in my life, but he was the Astros Diamond King. Um, let's see, he was a pitcher. Hmm, I've just never heard of him before, but I always like Diamond King. I like the even um, the Diamond Kings in Panini right now that um, are out. I really like those. There's a nice... So, like, stuff like this, it's a PC card for me. That's a Jose Akindo. It's really badly cut, um, really off-centered, which was another issue of these cards. Can um, I open this card? Yeah, go ahead and open up a pack, and then you can hand them to me, bud, and, or you can show them off. Um, was it, you know, they pr not only did they print um, a ton of them. I don't remember packs being this hard to open. 1990 was a different year. <laughs> 
<laughs> my son thinks he's a comedian, so you'll kind of hear things <laughs> like that. Um, but um, yeah, they were, oops, didn't mean to do that. Not only did they ever print them, and they're kind of on like bad quality stock and all that sat stuff, but uh, they just, uh, this is what cards were to me back then. Love Expos cards, love the, the uniform. I wish the Expos would come back. Um, Geralt, I was looking for the error cards. Um, I only recognize two of the players. Um, like I said, one is Harold Baines, and then one is um, Scott Geralt, Pedro Guerrero, and Andy Neslak. So we got a couple more. So I'll go for another pack here. No reason to spend a ton on them. I was a big Giants fan growing up. Um, I grew up in uh, Georgia, so I liked the Braves. I liked um, the Giants, and then I've obviously become a Cardinals fan as we have gotten, um, as I've actually been here more than I have anywhere else. I've lived here longer. There's a nice Randy Johnson card. That's what his, um, what his third year card, I guess. I'm not really 100% sure where his rookie is. Um, all right, let's get another pack. Oh, so here's one with a price on it. So 79, 49 cents. 49 cents. So you could buy almost a fat pack for 49 cents. It's weird that it's in a box. So I don't know if these were just a whole bunch of packs that were gathered uh, by a guy and then he put them in a box and then sold them to the box, which is why they were so much cheaper. I um, think that would be a great answer. That'd be a great answer. I don't know. I also wonder why these are so hard. Uh, I wonder if they are gone through and glued. I always wonder when I buy old packs and stuff if that's the case or if this is just the way they work. Um, but these yeah. are a little bit harder to get open than I remember. 1990 was a weird beer. Yes. You were not even... Um, I know. It was five I years before I graduated um, high school, buddy. Um, Ozzy Guillen, there's Steve Sachs, MVP card. So I think there's 700 cards in this set. A um, lot of cards come in this pack. Don't know if you can actually build a set out of a pack. I haven't really seen a lot of doubles, which is good. Uh, another big thing that I really like about Donruss and um, now the Panini is the rated rookies that um, come in there. Um, that is just an iconic sign, that rated rookie right there. Steve Finley. There's Ruben Sierra. I really liked him back when uh, he was playing. He had some good years. Um, was a good player. Maybe he was Maybe he was a little bit better. Yeah, I mean, look in 1989. He had 306, 14 home, or 29 home runs, 119 RBI. So, really good player. I remember him being a pretty good player. Jay Bell was a good one, too. There's Omar Vizcal and Carlton Fisk. Uh, Jeff Brantley. Looks like we have another Diamond Kings coming up. Mickey Tettleton. Mickey? You mean Mickey Mouse? That guy's a god. <laughs> okay, relax, kid. <laughs> There's Ozzie Guillen's real card. John Morris, outfielder for the Cardinals. Gotta love checklists. They don't come in packs anymore. Pete Incavilia. He's a pretty good player. Look at that. Back to back, same Don Carmen cards. Yeah, you just take a pack. I'm still trying to open it. My one. son's opening up packs for me over there, and my other son's just watching. And he's so actually we'll collecting this... puzzles. Okay. I'm oh, he's oh, I build the puzzle. Nice. We'll see if we can get all the puzzle pieces, oh! buddy. I mean, I bet you could. Ooh. That card is. That, that card might be ruined. Okay. So puzzle piece goes to you. We kind of got a little factory line going here. Oil Cam Boyd. What a great name for a pitcher. Good old Oil Cam Boyd. There's a nice one for me. I already got it, but uh, Ozzy Smith. Never can complain about an Ozzy Smith all-star card. Because he's a Cardinals fan. Another Jim DeHayes. DeHayes or whatever. There's a Raider rookie, Julio Macchio. Yeah. That's Look at cool that. Name. Look how bad that badly cut that card is. That's so, that's so off center. Bip Roberts, there's a name I remember. 
Mike Felder, Mel Hall, another Randy Johnson card, second one there. Ooh, Philly, Philly Diamond King. Cool, my son's a big Bryce Harper fan. If you've not watched the channel and we've not talked about that, or if you never watched, I'd watched the channel before or watched the video before, but he's a big Bryce Harper fan, so he really likes the uh, Phillies there. So that's why he was saying, oh, Phillies. Uh, Dave Winfield, Hall of Famer there. Um, let's see, who else we got? Nobody really there. Oh, we got a good one right here on the top. Barry Bonds, obviously not a Hall of Famer and don't know if he will get there. I'm, you know, maybe there is a, a chance that he will get there at some point. I'm not big on cheaters, so I'm not even... I don't know. I just don't know if he's ever deserves to be in, but he was a great player. And he was a great player before the steroids, which is what kills me. Um, there's John Smoltz, another Hall of Famer right there. I really like him on the MLB Network. Um, um, what is it? No, uh, maybe it's the... NBA. can't remember what the, show, what the show is actually called. NBA um, Night Show or something? No, Owen. Um... But I uh, like him as a, a broadcaster. I like what he brings to that. Um, I stopped on this John Crook card because um, I really like John Crook when I was growing oh, up. I, one of the biggest things I remember I is, hey, guys, shh, I can't hold on. Okay. So John Crook is, um, I remember him mostly when he faced um, Randy Johnson in the All-Star game and he turned his helmet around and started batting right-handed. But I really like John Crook. Yeah. He was the guy like, he would like say, oh, I'm, I'm going to drink some beers and eat a couple hot dogs, and that's my fitness. They just don't make baseball players like that anymore. They're all so buff, and and uh, it set, seems to be such a, you know, more of a business. There's Joe Carter and Lee Smith. So I just really, these are the kind of players that I grew up. Dennis Martinez, Dave Stewart. There's a Dave Stewart MVP. I remember him. Billy Ripken seemed to always take that picture with that bat just sitting like that. It's almost every one of his pictures. We all know the famous error card that happened. There's another Dave Stewart. So he had a Diamond Kings and he had an MVP, which is really cool. Like I said, I love the look of those Diamond King cards. Absolutely love them. Love them still to this day. And then a whole bunch of people that we have, don't hear about anymore. That's the amazing part about baseball is, man, such the small percentage of baseball players that actually make it. What do they say? It's about, like, the top, what, 7% of players are in baseball or something, of all baseball players. And so there's a nice Andy Vance like and Tom Pagnozzi. I remember him quite well. But then out of that, the ones that you remember that actually have a good career in the in MLB. So you take all the best players from all of the high schools and all the colleges and you put them in the MLB and they're so good to play in the MLB. And then to rise above that is just, just goes to show you that the Goldwins are really, really good. So, but there's so many of these guys that I kind of remember a little bit, but then there's also so many of these guys that, um, Otis Nixon, I remember him, that are just names and pretty cool story that they get to tell their kids or grandkids that they had a baseball card at uh, baseball card at one point. There's Tom Glavin. So there was John Smoltz. Um, rem really remember those years of Tom Glavin, John Smoltz, and, um, and Mike Matt. No, Greg Maddox. <laughs> Mike Maddox is the Cardinals pitching coach. Ma uh, Greg Maddox, his brother. Um, and just how good they were that the three of them when they were all there together. Dave Parker. Dave Parker's a good one. I watched the um ESPN uh what do they call that? 4040 2020? Whatever their series is on Dave Parker. And it was really, really good. Um and then really like the big cat, Andres Galarraga. Um I remember watching a lot of Expos games growing up, um, especially when the Cardinals played them. Um, and really liked Andres Galarraga um, and, and the Expos and as he was a Rockies uh, later in his career. But I uh, always thought he was a pretty good under, maybe not even underrated, but a pr really good first baseman, really good player. Uh, let's see who else we get. Another Raider rookie, Alex Sanchez. 
you know, it's funny because he was a Raider rookie. Probably he was as big as, I mean, who, who are we talking about? Jason Dominguez right now? I don't know. It just is so funny. Each and every year there's that is guys of promise. And um, which ones actually turn out? Um, which ones actually uh, <laughs> make a big thing in their career? And which ones just kind of disappear into um, something else? There's another Raider rookie. Probably one of the better Raider rookies in this series. Steve Avery, another Braves pitcher. Had a pretty couple pretty good years there. Uh, with the Braves, um, but nothing like uh, those other three guys that I just mentioned. Matt Williams, there's another big one that I really like. I loved, um, if you've seen any of my other videos, I loved Will Clark growing up, and so I was a big Giants fan. So um, the threesome of um, Will Clark, um, Kevin Mitchell, and Matt Williams, I really liked them. They were really, really awesome. Uh, let's see what else we got. Another Diamond Kings, Willie Randolph. And Mike Greenwell, there's a name that I remember. MVP there. So this is what the back of those MVP cards look like. They actually give you stats on the back, which is pretty cool. They look exactly the same. Um, but, uh, only had 14 home runs and 95 RBIs, but did bet three, did bet over 300 in almost every season. So that was pretty cool. So we're getting through these pretty good with the help of my boys. Open them up. There's Barry Larkin. He's a good one. Chris Bazio. Ken Hill. It's about the 18th Eric Hansen card. That's the problem with these. They just cram them with the same cards over and over and over and over again. I'm actually take two of these packs at one time. Okay. I'm I'm ahead of my boy there and No. Yeah, a lot of these get this wax stuff as like you see right there. That's the pack stuck to it. So some I'm of them sorry, do become junk. Off. It's not your fault, but it's just the way that these cards are built. Uh Steve Sachs was a good one. There's another Ozzy Smith. There's uh the Cardinals Diamond Kings, Joe McGrain McGraw. <laughs> yeah, no, Joe McGrain. I had it right. I don't know why I changed that. But not much to these cars, not much to these packs. Uh, there's Espy. <laughs> um, just reminds me of ESPN. Another Jose Akendo. Uh, Damon Barry Hill. He was, I remember him, because that's because the Cardinals played the Cubs quite a bit. Well, yeah, they're rivals. And they are rivals. And um, But like I said, this is either going to be one of those ones that you uh, have fond memories about too, or it is just... Uh, just a bunch of junk wax, which it really is. There really is not much to these cards. Well, there we go. There's one of the newer Hall of Famers, Mr. Larry Walker right there, looking young. Um, he did not have a very good year in 20 games in 1989. So I don't know if this is considered his rookie card or if it's considered second guard. He only had played 20 games. He had uh, hit 170 with four RBIs, and I'm guaranteeing that most people... Did not think that this guy was going to be a Hall of Famer, but uh, time only tells. And um, really like Larry Walker. I remember when the Cardinals uh, grabbed him for like uh, half a season, or he, I think he was came in at around the All Star break or after the All Star break, and then he played um, uh, a, another year or two with the with the uh, Cardinals. But uh, as he was a, such a great player, I remember him actually better as a Expo than I do as a Cardinal. Um, even though that I watched uh, pretty much every game that he was a Cardinal. There's Ruben Sierra MVP card. Lenny Dykstra, who, man, in his personal life, did not make the best choices, and it has <laughs> turned out to this, be this like little uh, uh, great player that um, made a lot of bad choices after he got out of baseball. There's Kurt Schilling, another guy that... Um, going to be a Hall of Famer. Um, he's uh, was a really good pitcher. I'm sorry, I want to look at his stats there. Carlos Martinez, another Barry Larkin. Seeing lots of doubles. Not a lot of new stuff except right there. There's Ryan Sandberg. 
one of the better uh, Cubs. These cards are actually in pretty good shape um, for being, what, 20 plus something years old. Jack Morris, Hall of Famer. Oral Hershiser. So I got a big stack of red cards coming in here. <laughs> Adding up Chuck Finley. One of those names that kind of pops out. Tom Gordon. Jack Morris. Jose Lean, that was a name. There's Del Murphy. Always like Del Murphy. And then there's another one right there. Andre Dawson. Two outfitters that I really liked watching when I was growing up. I mean, look at these years by Andre. Look at a 1987 year. 49 home runs and 137 RBIs, but man, did he drop off in 88 and 89. Um, he had a breakout year there, and uh, that year. And then Del Murphy, look at this. Look at this solid career here. 85, 37 home runs, 111 RBIs. A couple years later, 44 and 105 RBIs. Um, really always like Del Murphy. So, let's see. I just keep adding them up. Just keep adding them up. They've been trying to make a puzzle. Oh, Those are a lot of the same. There's another uh, Diamond Kings. I don't know sure if that. There's another great guy that I'd like to watch in Fred McGriff, the old crime dog. Um, what a great player. What a great player. And then he went to the Braves after this and played for the Braves for a while. And um, There's Tim Raines, another good one. I've always liked Fred McGriff. I thought he was possibly could probably be in that Hall of Fame uh, discussion, um, but didn't get the chance and won't. I'm pretty sure he's off the ballot now. Why? Um, because he doesn't get enough votes uh, to stay on the ballot to then get enough votes to get in. There's Ellis Burks, Diamond King, another Tim Raines MVP, uh, and Craig Glefford's, I think, probably the 18th card of him. Um, we only got, uh, we're opening up our third pack. So we only got three packs left open after this stack right here. So trying to keep it. It's just because of the amount of cards. There's definitely, um, uh, it takes a while. But uh, there's see. Pedro Guerrero, the MVP, first baseman for the Cardinals. Um, not a bad little power hitter there for Cardinals for a while, a couple of years. There's an Ozzie Smith regular card. So basically all they did was they took the regular card, put an NL, NHL logo, kind of lazy by Donruss, and then threw it out as their all-star card. So kind of lazy. But um, there's Rob Dibble. Bobby Figpen's one that I remember. Dave Henderson. Like that A's team um, that was out there. That's why you had mentioned Cardi Lansford earlier. Turn around here. Let's flip those over. There's Bobby Vanilla. I think the. You know, it was crazy. He went and signed a big old deal with the Mets. I don't know for sure without going and looking it up, but I think the Mets are still paying him, uh, which is crazy. That many years after he stopped playing, or it might be over by now. But uh, I know they paid him for a really long time after he hadn't been playing, um, way longer than they should have been playing. Um, Paying a player that wasn't playing for them. There's Doug Drabeck. He was a good pitcher as well. There's another Diamond Kings. Steve Finley was a good one. Ruben Sierra again. There's Rafael Palmero, which is basically now his whole career is known. He came up in uh, Mississippi State with Will Clark. Um, they were uh, teammates there, and um, it's a bummer that he uh, kind of Got caught up in that steroid thing, and then I think he's most famous for like pointing right at the uh, committee and saying, "I did not do steroids," and then he was busted for doing steroids. And there's Tim Wallach. Dude, that's terrible. So we got our last stack right here. So I just want to thank you all for hanging out. If you watch this, um, and uh, just uh, appreciate it. Um, this is definitely there's Jack Clark, a Cardinal for a long time. Um, Definitely one for me that just thought it'd be fun to open up another one of these uh, 1990 packs and got it for such a great price that I thought it'd be uh, definitely worth it. Um, and just wanted to open it up on the channel for you. 
Uh, maybe have you reminisce a little bit. I've been, uh, liked been, uh, Santiago there. Billy Hatcher. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate you watching. If you're still watching through this, um, I know it's kind of a long video. There's Cal Ripken, MVP. And um, we'll just catch you on the next time. I'm really happy to hear that there's a lot of, uh, like Ron Gant too, um, a lot of them. There's Ken Griffey Sr. A lot of new products coming out now. I just haven't had a chance to get out and get anything. So um, hopefully at some point I'll get some uh, new stuff on the channel. And I do appreciate you all watching and hanging out. And I'll talk to you later. Be safe out there. Bye.